Hey there, Virgo. Good afternoon and welcome to your May Tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. Virgo, it's great to connect with each and every one of you. I love Virgo energy. There was a time in my life, in an earlier lifetime, when I was married to a Virgo. But Virgo and I created three beautiful children together. So I love Virgo energy. It's great to be with you, Virgo. Uh, let's talk about your May forecast. First thing that I want to do today, Virgo, is we're going to put the spotlight on Virgo. And we're going to talk a little bit about Virgo energy. just want to go through and describe it. Uh, also going to talk about some astrological information that's connected to Virgo energy. And keep in mind, I'm not an astrologer. This information that I'm providing you, Virgo, is just coming from one of the astrological websites out there. So at the end of the day, they're just opinions from people, you know, and opinions can be wrong. So, but, so the energies, the information that I share, it may resonate with you or it may not resonate with you. Don't get too offended if not. Uh, then, Virgo, we want to hone in and we're going to do, I'm going to look at and provide you your astrological forecast for the month of May. Just glanced at the clock and it was 111. Uh, Virgo, I, that happens a lot with me. So your astrological forecast, we look at the month of May and we see which planets are going to be moving into which specific houses impacting Virgo energy. So Virgo, here's a little tip for you, right? With the astrological forecast, it applies with your sun, moon, or rising sign. But I need to mention that there's an emphasis with your rising sign energy. So with me, as it pertains to me, because I follow tarot and astrology as well, if I'm looking for the astrological forecast, I'm following my rising sign energy. So my sun sign is Aquarius. My rising and my moon signs are Taurus. So I, I go after the, the Taurus astrological forecast. That's just what works for me. So... If your sun sign is Virgo, right, but maybe your rising sign is Aries or something like that, I would go to the Aries reading and watch that astrological forecast. So anyways, Virgo, whether your sun sign is Virgo or your moon or rising sign is Virgo, some of you may be here checking up on a Virgo in your life. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Whether, whatever the energies were that brought you here to this tarot reading, to this channel, trust those energies, Virgo. And if you're not Virgo, welcome. Okay, Virgo, let's get into it. Let's talk about you really quickly. And pay attention to what to the energies that we're talking about here because, look, we're just describing Virgo energy. So whatever I share with you may have application in your tarot reading. How do you know, first of all, if you're a Virgo or not, right? If you are born between the dates of August the 23rd and September the 22nd, it means that your sun sign is Virgo. Now, your moon and rising signs may be completely different, right? And you, you can obtain your moon and rising signs, but you need to know two pieces of information. You need to know your exact time and your exact place of birth, or pretty close to it. In fact, I can send you to a website where if you have this information, you can check and find out what your moon and rising signs are. The website is www.astrosofa.com. It's an astrological website. It's free. I don't have any affiliation with it. I'm like you, I just like using it for information. So, Virgo, if there are three terms that describe and kind of sum up Virgo energy overall, here's what it, here's what they would be. Virgo would be considered the intellectual, right? You love to be mentally stimulated. You love to expand your mind, which is a beautiful energy. You would also be considered the detective. I mean, at the end of the day, Virgos make fantastic detectives. You guys are great at doing your research work. And the last thing is, Virgo, you would be considered the altruist, which means, look, when I'm motivated to do something, I'm motivated to do it not for selfish reasons, but for the reason of the overall good for everybody. So that's a big compliment for you, Virgo. Your element is Earth, so you're an Earth sign, along with Capricorn and Taurus energies. Uh, favorite colors for Virgo, or colors that resonate strong with Virgo, gray, beige, and pale yellow. Day of the week, which resonates strong with Virgo energy, hump day, Wednesdays. Uh, your ruling planet is the planet Mercury, and Mercury goes retrograde this month in May. Uh, greatest overall compatibility, and again, keep in mind, Virgo, this is just an opinion from an astrologer out there, not my opinion personally, but your greatest overall compatibility falls into the signs of Pisces and Cancer, which is interesting, both water signs. Lucky numbers for Virgo, five, and I need to put an emphasis on five, Virgo, uh, five, 14, 
15, 23, which reduces back to 5, and then 22, which reduces back to 4. Strengths for Virgo. You guys are loyal, very analytical as well. Like I said, you're great at researching, great at studying, great at learning. You're very kind, you're hardworking, and you're practical, you're pragmatic. You're grounded and earthbound, down to earth. It's one of the qualities I love about Virgo energy. Weaknesses for Virgo. Virgos can be shy. You can worry sometimes. You can be overly critical sometimes of yourself or of others. Um, the attitude of all work and no play can sometimes show up as a weakness. So it's just about having balance, Virgo. Because we get sometimes we just get busy and we just get focused on it. It's all about work, but it's all about balance. Work hard, play hard. That's my motto in life. Work hard, play hard. Uh, Virgo's likes. Animals. Some of you Virgos may be animal lovers, right? You may be animal owners, uh, and if so, I'm connecting and talking to all of you. I'm an animal owner as well. I have my cat, Star. She's sitting right across me right here. She loves to be in here in the room when I'm doing tarot. So Virgo likes, you like animals, you like healthy food, right? And an emphasis on healthy food. Virgo doesn't like to just eat garbage, right? That's, I don't want something to just fill my body. Give me something nutritious and healthy. Uh, books, nature, and cleanliness for Virgo. Virgos love things to be nice and orderly and tidy. Dislikes for Virgo, rudeness, right? We don't like rudeness from anybody. Virgo doesn't like asking for help. Uh, the other energy that you don't like is taking center stage. Virgo can be a little bit shy, so you don't necessarily need the spotlight on you. And that's not a bad thing at all, Virgo. Okay, let's get into your astrological forecast now. So we're going to look at the month of May and Look, these energies are happening for you, Virgo, whether you're aware of these or not. They're planetary, so it happens regardless. I'm just letting you know what's coming your way in the month of May. So on the 4th of May, you have the planet Mars, which is the planet of action, taking, putting drive into something, putting force, taking action in something. It's moving into your 10th house. On the 9th, you have the planet Venus, the planet of attraction and love also moving into your 10th house. So, a lot of energy on your 10th house. The 10th house has to do with your work, your career, or wherever this is that you spend the bulk of your time, if you're maybe retired. So, with the planet Mars taking action, some of, and Venus, the planet of attraction love, some of you at this time, you're gonna be thinking about your work or your career. You may be thinking about making changes for yourself. It's like, ah, I've just been doing the same thing for so long. I want, I need something different. Maybe I need some mental stimulation here. So maybe, you know, investing energy into maybe looking into other, maybe a transfer or a change, maybe getting, applying for a promotion of some sort. But the spotlight is shining on you in your, your house of work and career. So some of you may be trying different things out in regards to your work and career, maybe taking some chances on things. Okay, Virgo, on the 11th of May, you have a new moon happening in your ninth house. Ninth house is about your expanded beliefs. It's also the house of travel. So with a new moon taking place there, right? this is a time where you're planting seeds. So some of you may be interested in learning about a whole new culture, right? I wanna learn about the other side of the world and what things are like with this group of people over here. Or maybe I'm fascinated with a language, right? So maybe I'm, I'm picking up a second or a third language for myself. Uh, some of you may be in the energy of traveling as well. Keeping in mind, you may be traveling to somebody else or somebody may be traveling to you. Virgo, on the 14th of May, you have the planet Jupiter moving into your seventh house of relationships. So Jupiter is the planet that brings you luck and good fortune. So some of you may be traveling to meet somebody at this time, or somebody may be traveling to meet you at this time as well, Virgo. On the 21st, you have the sun. The sun moving in and it shines a light right back to your 10th house again. So Virgo, look at the end of the day, you have a lot of energy focused on your 10th house, focused on your work and your career. So use these energies. On the 26th, you have a lunar eclipse taking place in your fourth house of the home and family. So, what is a lunar eclipse going to bring you? Some of you may be experiencing some type of changes, you know, to your home or family. Maybe you have people moving in or people moving out. Um, 
you know, home and family, uh, this is a beautiful time to think about what, I mean, Virgo, what kind of changes do you want to make to your home? You know, and I know, I know you've been thinking about it. You know, maybe you've been thinking about doing some work out in the yard, planting some new trees, plants, or flowers, or maybe building a deck. Or maybe inside you're thinking about, yeah, I just want to change things around. I want to move some furniture around. I want to paint an accent wall. This is a perfect time with this lunar eclipse to invest your energies in your home or family, Virgo. Then on the 30th of May, you have Mercury going direct. Excuse me, Mercury going retrograde. Uh, and it goes retrograde until June the 23rd. So Virgo, if you're negotiating at this time or waiting to sign contracts or anything like that, try to wrap up the negotiations and get the contract signed before Mercury goes retrograde. Otherwise, you may find yourselves having to wait and do it over again. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is back up your hard drive, save your files. When Mercury goes retrograde, it has a way of impacting our electronics here on planet Earth. Okay, Virgo, let's get into your tarot reading. Looking for those of you that are just here for the tarot. That's what the fast forward button is. You know, I like to share. I like to talk about the zodiacs and the energies before I start. And I like to go through the astrological forecast because to me, like, it just makes total sense. It's like, now I know what's ahead of me. Now I want to get specific and I want to see how some of these energies are going to manifest more specifically for you. So you can just hit fast forward right up until the point where you see me start to pull cards. And for the rest of you that maybe like my jabbering, stick around. Okay, Virgo, I want to pull an affirmation card for you. Take us into your May tarot reading. Let's just see which affirmation your guides and spirit has for Virgo to see. Planet Mars, Virgo, coming in for you. This is the month of action. Right? So, action. What is Virgo doing this month? Could be in the, in the energy of creating something, you know, taking some action for sure. Stop hesitating, it says. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. Stop hesitating. Movement creates magic. Nothing can hold you back. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back, Virgo. So, beautiful affirmation taking us into your May tarot reading as we're talking about action you know some of you may be in the center this very energy where i just i'm virgo and i feel like i need there's something that i need to be doing here maybe i'm getting these little energetic nudges kind of pushing me along virgo let's move over to your tarot first energy that i'm going to pull by the way i'm doing the celtic or celtic cross tarot spread for you today this first energy that i pull is going to come through as present energy for virgo for some, this may come in as the energy representing the matter at hand for the month of May. You got a beginning coming in, right? Present energy. I'm looking. I'm looking at a new start. So we have a, some type of new beginning coming in here, in here for Virgo, and I feel like it is a new beginning. It's a tangible beginning. So some of you, you may be already in this energy where, look, I've just stepped in. I've created this beginning for myself in the month of May, and I'm and I'm relishing it. I'm enjoying it. We're gonna get some clarification, Virgo. But let's pull another energy. And this is going to come in as the challenging energy for Virgo. Okay, challenging energy coming in for Virgo comes to us as heal. So this represents the energy of Aquarius. So Virgo, some of you may be in some type of challenging energy with an Aquarius. I'm saying that because my sun sign is Aquarius. It just, it makes me laugh. But that may be the case for some of you. Um, but, you know, you're in the energy of healing. Um, as it's stated, you know, it's titled Heal. Aquarian energy right here. Um, just looking at the image on this card. He's breaking free from these chains. So Virgo, some of you, I don't know what the chains represent to you, but some of you may have had some kind of chain that was holding you down, holding you back in some way. Let's clarify. Let's ask about this strengthening bonds, present energy. Why am I feeling your excitement about this beginning, Virgo? I feel like you're excited about this beginning. 
tell us about strengthening bonds for Virgo, please. Strengthening bonds for Virgo. Virgo, beautiful. You've got the energy of the magician coming in, connected to this beginning, right? So some of you, you're in, you're actually in this energy of, yeah. And why is it that you're excited? You're so excited about this this beginning. Many of you, you picked up, you've resonated with the energy of the magician. I'm creating, I'm manifesting. Come hell or high water, I'm going to create this beginning. There's two birds flying over the head of the magician. Some of you may be creating this beginning for yourself and another person. The white dove that the magician is standing above, right? I want to point that out to you, Virgo. You're the altruist. You know, the white dove represents your intention when it comes to manifesting. Look, and I'm Virgo, I'm not just manifesting for my own greatest good. I'm manifesting for the greatest good of everybody. Maybe the greatest good of two. Let's clarify this magician for Virgo. Okay. Virgo, you've got Wheel of Fortune coming in. So there's changes that are coming your way. The Zodiac Wheel is spinning. It's going to spin off changes. And you're the one that's creating and manifesting these changes. These changes are bringing you a whole new perspective. Ace of Swords. This is a new outlook, a new way of looking at things. A new way of looking at life and experiencing life. Interesting. Virgo, let's move down to heal and find out. Let's clarify this. Please clarify heal for Virgo. Please clarify heal for Virgo. So here we have the Two of Pentacles. In the process of healing, maybe I'm freeing myself. I'm, I could be breaking free of something. I feel like whatever whatever I was chained to or somewhat bound to, it may have been causing me to, to feel a little bit of imbalance in my life. You know, I just think of work and play, you know, balancing these two pentacles. Maybe I was maybe I was overworking too much. Interesting. Please clarify the two of pentacles for Virgo. Puts you in the Queen of Wands energy, uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is somebody who's very charming, somebody who's a go-getter, somebody who's driven, somebody who can trust their feelings and their intu their intuition. And at the end of the day, Virgo, this is the action taker right here. So this could very well represent your energy or it could represent the energy of somebody in your life. Maybe somebody in your life with this Queen of Wands energy that's bringing you balance, that may be showing up, helping you to break free from something that's been holding you somewhat bound. Let's move down to focus on energy. Tell us about focus on energy for Virgo, please. Where should Virgo be putting their focus? Got a lot of cards that are wanting to come out here, Virgo. I'm trying to be careful with them. We don't want too many. Tell us where Virgo needs to be putting their focus, please. Here we have the Five of Swords. Uh, Five of Swords is a limiting energy. Um, it's representing the energy of somebody, somebody did you dirty. Um, it's representing the energy of feeling like you were stabbed in the back. Uh, and this could have been what you've been, some of you have maybe felt somewhat bound to. Let's clarify the Five of Swords for Virgo. Okay, you're in the Five of Swords. Where should you, sh where should you be putting your focus? On the Six of Swords. I'm turning my back and I'm walking away from this energy. Now, does that mean I'm walking away from the person completely? Maybe, possibly in some cases. But I'm walking away from the behavior for sure, for certain. 
What are you walking towards? Uh, interesting. Let's move over to the past for you, Virgo. Tell us about Virgo's past. These would be past energies that have to do with this May tarot reading. Okay, we have two energies coming in, connected to your past. You are focused on the Ten of Cups, wanting to bring abundance into my life. Not just abundance for me, but abundance for my family, abundance for my loved one, my husband, my, my wife, my life partner, whatever the energy is. It's coming in attached to temperance, right? So, connected to the past, there was something very divine for you about this connection and this relationship in your life. Some of you may have merged families together as she's holding a child. What was it that brought this connection together? Patience, divine timing, and divine timing is described in just a perfect balance of t my taking action combined with my emotions and feelings. Let's move over to strengths for you, Virgo. Tell us about Virgo's strengths. Tell us about Virgo's strengths, please. Okay, Virgo, so energies coming in that are being highlighted as your strength, you have the sun energy. So some of you may have a Leo in your life. It's really coming through and showing up as a strength. It's coming in attached to the Cancer card. So some of you may be connected to a Cancer as well. So Cancer and Leo just showed up here on the board. Uh, this is about movement that's coming in, changes that are coming. We know changes are coming. You're the one creating those. It's coming in as your strength because, look, what are the kinds of changes that, that you're creating, that you're manifesting? Virgo, at the end of the day, the reason these energies are coming up is, look, what's being pointed out is it's your vibration, right? When you're in the energy, in the vibration of the sun, where, yeah, I'm feeling very creative. I've let go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. Maybe I'm stepping into the unknown here. I don't know what's coming to me, but I like the way that I feel with this energy. And if I'm feeling good and I'm investing energies in those energies, whatever's coming is going to be good. And why is that? Because Virgo, at the end of the day, you are the creator. You're the creator for your life. And what creates the energies and the experience around you is you and your own energy. So if I have changes coming in, I'm going to work on raising my vibration because I want great favorable changes. How do I raise my, vib my vibration? gratitude. Look, make a list of everything in life that you feel you have to be grateful for and get down to the basics. You know, I'm grateful that I, when I go outside, I can feel the warmth of the sun on my skin. I'm grateful that I can breathe fresh air. You know, I'm grateful for my lungs, for my good health, for good, healthy food. Start making that list, Virgo. Start making that list to raise your vibration, to change your perspective because you've got beautiful changes that are coming in and you're the one creating these changes future energies for Virgo tell us about the future for Virgo future energies for Virgo please Eight of Pentacles. Some of you may be getting a different job. Interesting. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, it represents this very energy. Putting my focus on my work, on my career, or wherever this is that I feel like I need to put my focus. I, I'm, I'm directing my focus at this. I'm striving to become the best at what it is I do. Let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Page of Cups coming in attached to the Eight of Pentacles, right? So Page of Pentacles can represent communication, you know, message coming into you. So some of you, Virgo, you may have communication coming into you in the month of May regarding this job. Look, it's not just normal communication. This is passionate, exciting communication that takes you towards the Ace of Cups beginning. So 
you have the energy of something that's resonating really strong with you that you love coming in connected to the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel like, yeah, it's going to be a job opportunity. It's plain as day. Suggested approach for Virgo. Tell us about suggested approach for Virgo. So here we have the death card coming in. What's being suggested for some, this could be, it could be suggesting an ending of some sort. Let's clarify this death card. Let's clarify the death card for Virgo. Please clarify the death card for Virgo. Okay, so here we have King of Pentacles energy coming in. So something, something in your life has to come to an ending. And what it could be is bringing an ending to the energy of scarcity. You know, and by scarcity, I mean of, of not having enough. I say that because here we have the death card representing this very energy of an ending. The inscription on the headstone translated, it says, life is changed, not taken. So something comes to an ending, and in comes the King of Pentacles, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Some of you may be in the energy of ending something with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus as well. But I feel like you're ending something, and it's good, and whatever you're ending, you're ending it because you want to feel more stability, more security in your life. This is a hard-working energy right here. Let me pull one more clarification on the death card. Please clarify the death card for Virgo. What is Virgo ending, please? Let's just get direct and bold. Tell us what Virgo's ending. Well, whatever you're ending, it's all about getting your power back, Virgo. And this could be the energy that you're in the you know this healing energy that's coming in in for you you know I'm breaking free of the chains that abound me and I'm breaking free of these chains because I want to get my power back Aries energy right here some of you may be connected to an Aries let's move up to what it is you need to know tell us what Virgo needs to know please You have a beginning coming in for you, Virgo. Beautiful beginning. Ace of Cups beginning. Uh, yeah, so for some of you, this could be a new job, a new job opportunity. It's the Page of Cups that's bringing in this opportunity. You're the one creating this opportunity because of your hard work, Virgo. So the beginning could represent the energy of a job. Let's find out about this Ace of Cups for Virgo. Ten of Wands. So there's some type of journey in your life coming to an ending. There's a lot of burdens on this, you know, on this horse with this gentleman. You know, maybe you've been in the energy of feeling like, God, not only am I carrying my burdens, but I'm carrying the burdens of, of somebody else or everybody else as well. This journey and these burdens coming to an ending, taking you into better energies, Virgo, taking you into the Ace of Cups beginning. Pretty fantastic. Hopes and fears. Tell us about hopes and fears for Virgo, please. Here's your Knight, Knight of Pentacles energy. Slowest moving of the Knight energies, but the most reliable. Knight of Pentacles many times shows up. Yeah, am I on my destined path? Right. Maybe this is coming in as my hope. Maybe it's my fear, you know, I, I'm hoping that I'm I'm following my destiny right here. Slowest moving night, but yet the most reliable. I take those two components and I, I wrap it up with destiny. You know, that won't apply to every Virgo, but some of you that feel like, yeah, my life is, I'm living a destined life. This is your energy showing up. Please clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo.
Four of Cups. Feeling a little bit bored in life in this energy right here. Maybe it's my hope to overcome this energy. Maybe this is about, you know, in order for me to overcome this energy, maybe I just need to change and I need to shift my focus. Because my focus is right here on this cup that's in front of me, but yet I have three other cups behind me. Am I even aware of these cups? Are those three cups that are behind me part of my destiny? Let's find out. Please clarify the Four of Cups for Virgo. Two of, two of Wands coming in now. In this energy of feeling somewhat stagnant in life, right? It's, it's Four of Cups represents the energy as, I feel like there's just more out there for me to connect with in life, more experiences for me to take on, but I'm feeling somewhat disconnected from them. However, I feel like those experiences are all part of my destiny that I'm supposed to be having those experiences. So here comes the Two of Wands taking you into these experiences, coming through as your hope. The courageous risk taker getting ready to set out and embark on a new adventure. Potential future of Virgo. Tell us about potential future for Virgo energy. Got the world card coming in. So definitely some changes coming in for you, Virgo. And these are major changes. Changes in a way that's like, once they come in, I feel like I've changed so many different aspects in my life. I feel like in some ways, I'm Virgo and I just stepped out of one world and I stepped into a whole new world for myself. Please clarify the world card for Virgo. What does this energy feel like that I'm stepping into it? Wow, Virgo, it feels amazing. Gives me the fool's energy. Makes me feel young again. Makes me feel adventurous and excited. I'm excited about life again. I'm excited about the changes. I'm excited about this energy that I'm stepping into of literally being able to change my world. Let's pull one more energy. One more energy for Virgo, please. Please clarify the world card for Virgo. Ten of Swords. When does the, the world energy come in? When I've let go of the past completely. I've let go of these swords. And where are these swords? Right here, Virgo. Somebody let you down. Um, somebody let you down. I feel like you're walking away from this person or you're walking away from the behavior of this person. Ten of Swords says, maybe I'm walking away for good in some cases. I'm bringing an end, ending to it completely. And with this ending, it's taking me into the energy of a whole new world. It's making me feel young, youthful, excited. I'm excited about life again. I'm passionate about life. Virgo, I think I'm done with this portion of your tarot reading. You have a great reading here, and I want to do an extended tarot reading that I'm going to make available over on Vimeo. So for those of you that would like to follow me over to Vimeo for the extended reading, you can do so by clicking on the link found just below this tarot reading. For the rest of you, this is Roy Parway. Sincere goodbyes. Virgo, you have a great reading. I want to gain a better understanding of what's going on, so I'm going to pull more clarifiers to go after more details. Where do I want to get the clarification? I want to clarify. I want to try to get an idea of the changes that you have coming in for you, Virgo. So let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune. I want to clarify this Queen of Wands energy coming in attached to the Two of Pentacles. I want to find out if this is your energy or another the energy of another person. It's bringing you balance. Um, I want to clarify Aquarius's energy coming in as heal. This is the challenge for you. I want to clarify the Six of Swords. I'm walking away from something. Let's see if we can find out what it is you're walking away from. Virgo, I want to clarify Scorpio's energy, the death card, showing up as suggested approach, bringing an ending to something. Let's see if we can find out what. And then, Virgo, I want to clarify this Ace of Cups beginning. Let's find out what this beginning looks like for you. Maybe the beginning of love, connection, and relationship. For others, this may be the beginning of a new job and a new career opportunity for you. And then, Virgo, I want to clarify the world energy to see what this new world looks like for you. And then I want to pull an energy from my tarot set called the Good Tarot and build upon this world and this Ace of Cups beginning to see what the energies look like moving forward for you. So I'll see the rest of you over on Vimeo that are resonating with this reading that want to follow me there. 
Everybody else, thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. I know you have a lot of different choices with tarot readers. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoyed my energy and my style of reading. Um, thank you so much for being here. If any of you are interested in getting a personal tarot reading, send me an email at treeoflifetarot, the number nine at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you. Schedule a time to work on your tarot reading and talk about what's happening in your life. Okay, Virgo, May looks exciting for all of you. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much for being here.